Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Now the fraud and corruption case against suspended ANC Secretary General Esma Khashule and his co-accused has been postponed to the 23rd of September. This follows a brief appearance in the High Court in Bloemfontein earlier today in which Mahashule accused the NPA of delaying the matter in order to prevent him from standing for election as a party leader at the upcoming ANC conference in December. Let's go to senior reporter Sipaman Koke, who's been following uh, these uh, developments. So, uh, Sipa, I see um, the, uh, S the suspended Secretary General of the ANC is now saying that the NPA is on, um, you know, is on the side of him not standing for top six possibility in December. Indeed, he just decided to address the court directly when all the accused persons were inside court. He asked for a brief moment and the judge granted him an opportunity and the platform to address the court directly. The context to it and the background is that Ace Mahajule was not happy with the postponement. His matter has been postponed to the 23rd of September this year for pre-trial proceedings. That date is not even for a trial itself. It's not a trial date. It's just for pre-trial proceedings, which is something that was, you know, uh, that ought to have been done today. But obviously the matter had to be postponed to the 23rd of September. By agreement, I must stress that all parties agreed that the matter be postponed. Nothing significant came out of court today except for that announcement that the matter will be postponed. It was to be expected. At least the expectation was the trial date was going to be fixed today, but it wasn't to be. Is Mahashule asking to address the court directly, saying it's so unfair and it's not in the best interest of justice? that this matter is delayed. He says the NPA has been saying it's ready to prosecute this matter, but these delays should be pinned right at the door of the NPA, the prosecutions and the state. Ace Mahashule saying out there in the public eyes and in the public domain, their names are being dragged through the mud. They are being accused and perceived to be corrupt and the delays in this matter play into the narrative that is out there that they are corrupt. So he was calling for the speedy trial in a set. It's something that he's been saying outside the courtroom, but the only difference this time around is that he directly addressed the judge on the matter. He was the only accused person who asked for an opportunity to take to the stand and address the judge. And the judge gave him that platform and the judge said, well, she heard what Mr. Mahashule was saying, but unfortunately the matter had to be postponed. If we do have a by, by Mr. Mahashule. Let's take a listen to what he said inside court. From the onset when I was arrested, the prosecuting authorities said we have a case and that's why we have arrested you. And we want a speedily case. And out in the public eye, we are these corrupt people who don't want to respect the law. And we were promised by the trial, by the presiding uh, authority that uh, we are supposed to have actually dealt with this case last year. And it has been postponed and postponed and postponed. And even when we get out now, you are going to hear the National Prosecuting Authority saying it's us delaying the case. So in the eyes of South Africans and as law-abiding citizens, we are actually corrupt and out in the media. My Lordship last time said when there was argument, when we appealed, there were three cases. Mm. Uh, now, Sipa, he also, I believe, spoke about uh, how this has an impact on the public's image of him. Uh, tell us more about that. Indeed, and he says the frustration stems from the fact that out there in the public, they are being accused of corruption, they are perceived as corrupt, their image is being affected negatively by these allegations and charges. His supporters are of the view that indeed this case is political. Ace Mahashule himself is of the view that the case is political. At least today he placed that on record inside court and he told the judge that this case, according to him, 
him is political designed to prevent him from contesting at the upcoming December Congress of the African National Congress, calling for a speedy trial so that he can resume with his political life. But it doesn't look like that it doesn't look like that by December the case will be over, bearing in mind that in September it's just pre-trial proceedings and after that a trial date will be set. By the time the conference of the ANC is convened, Mr. Mahashule is likely to be still going through with his trial and he says the NPA is playing part in ANC factional packages. Let's take a listen. From the onset when I was arrested, the prosecuting authorities said we have a case and that's why we have arrested you and we want a speedily case and out in the public eye we are these corrupt people who don't want to respect the law and we are promised by the trial by the presiding the authority that uh, we are supposed to have actually dealt with this case last year and it has been postponed and postponed and postponed and even when we get out now you are going to hear the national prosecuting authority saying it's us delaying the case so in the eyes of South Africans and as law-abiding citizens we are actually corrupt and out in the media, my lordship last time said when there was argument, when we appealed, there were three cases which uh, the, 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 the state argued that I'm facing three charges. Out in the public since the case was, was actually started, in the eyes of the public, I'm facing 70 charges of corruption. And I don't know how to defend myself. There are many people who work for the state. The state is even refusing to pay their legal fees. Mm, and Sipa, a little earlier on, uh, you were telling me that it's quite cold in the free state, but I see those supporters behind you have braced the weather to support the suspended secretary general. Indeed, it's not too many of them simply because Ace Mahashule's supporters and those who organize and coordinate his supporters say they did not mobilize anyone to come to court because they knew this was going to be a postponement. They say they are saving all their resources for when the trial finally gets underway. That's when they will mobilize Mahashule's supporters to come in court, you know, to come to court in their numbers and show their support to the suspended Secretary General of the ANC. And as Mahashul has basically uh, made a similar statement that he made two days ago when he told ENCA that he was going to contest at the upcoming National Congress of the ANC in December, he said, if I were to quote him, this is what he said today, charged or not charged, step aside or no step aside, I'm going to contest. He remains defiant despite the resolution of the National Executive Committee of the ANC that charged members and leaders apart from contesting for leadership positions either at a branch level, regional level, provincial level or national level. And remember that recently Denim Caesar, who is the provincial treasurer of the ANC in Lipopo, couldn't contest for the position of the provincial secretary because he is facing criminal charges. He wanted to contest, but the new resolution of the ANC prevented him from doing that. But Isma Hashule says with or without that resolution he is going to contest. Mm. All right, senior reporter uh, Sipamandla Gorke outside the High Court in Bloemfontein. Let's leave it there for now.